Alright guys, Center Stalker back here on our video. It's Tuesday, so I'm gonna go out and about today, see what kind of new stuff came out. I know Tusk came out today and all that, so I might pick it up. I heard it's a really good weird movie. But also at this place, on Tuesdays they have uh, they issue out VHS, so it's like going back in time. They got VHS Tuesdays here, so I'm gonna go in the back, see what kind of new stuff he might have put out. So I'm hoping a cool horror flick or two. or some like weird titles, so I'm gonna go in there right now and uh, check it out. And after that, there have some other shops around town. Oh yeah, let's go see what they got. for the tapes and my little excursion today, my little Tuesday shopping vid right here, kind of going around town to see what kind of things I might get and how to come here first. And I found a few things like over here. Like <clears throat> I get some of these picked up by, these are 50 cents a piece. I might get Grizzly. That's a really cool one. Killer Party. Suburbia, here's a really good like Roger Corman movie. Condemned to hell. Look at this thing. Like some cheesy, you know, by Transworld Entertainment, some cheesy like action thing. You know, it looks pretty cool. I might get this too. I don't know. Summer Girls. I don't know what the hell this is about. Oops. Maybe this thing. Police Woman. It's like new too. It's like it's like sealed up. And then I don't know. This is kind of funny. I might. The best of Liquid Television. I used to always watch this show as a kid. It was on you know MTV. These show all kinds of like weird like little skit like little cartoon things and all kinds of like weird stuff. I think Beavis and Butthead was on here first before they became like a big show. So I might get that just to kind of watch it and like reminisce some of those old episodes. But so far I'm still looking around. I'm gonna hopefully find some more things in here and uh, let's, let's uh, continue hunting. Whoa, pretty cool. I'm just coming across this. HR puff and stuff like that weird kids program back in the day. It's just kind of scary looking. Look at check out those like weird costumes. Kind of a creepy weird show. It's kind of funny that they have that. Get some other things here like a something weird video uh, title. I might get that also. I like weird strange bad movies. And this thing, Teen Witch. Remember, remember this thing? I don't know if you guys watched this. It's like this weird '80s like comedy thing of this this girl right here. She uh, turns into a witch. It has a girl from uh, Poltergeist. I think her name's Zelda. She's in this. Real cheese ball, uh, cheese ball fun, right? I just always liked this movie when I was a kid. So it used to always be on HBO. I would totally watch it. <laughs> oh man, that Killer Return of the Jedi movie promo thing. That thing's awesome. All right, it's got a Ken's video, and I did buy some thingies up in this thing. I get like a bunch of tapes, well, like six tapes I got, and it's kind of cold out right now. It's a little bit rainy and stuff, so I'm like, uh, well, sprinkly. But I bought like six movies. It was like three bucks for six movies. You can't beat that, so that was cool. I'll show you guys in a little bit what I got. All well, these ones I picked up. I showed you guys a little bit earlier what I might get, and these are the ones I did get. So I got this, Condemned to Hell. Looks like a weird action kind of you know girls in prison kind of movie look pretty sick i never heard of it before but it's from transworld entertainment so that's a really cool company they put out a weird martial art flicks and things and uh, exploitation type movie so had to get that got this one grizzly which i bought this before a few weeks ago but the tape was broken inside so but this one is actually the tape is good so it's a good one a good finder right here goes for like 30 bucks the videotape, I think, online. So I got this, I got it on DVD too, but I want to get the tape. And this is just 50 cents, can't go wrong. Got this one right here, Police Woman right here. It's still sealed up, so it's kind of weird to buy a sealed up VHS in the, you know, 2015 pretty much. So a couple days away, that'd be 2015, so kind of weird. Got that, got Suburbia right there. Look at that cool cover, awesome movie. I've never seen it, but I heard good things about it. So if you want to check this out. Picked up Killer Party, um, pretty good movie. Uh, movie, but I don't have this edition of it on key video right there. That, that's a pretty cool company, so definitely gl glad I have that. And last but not least, I got this, 80 Blocks from Tiffany's, like a weird uh, movie, like that's like a documentary, almost like The Warriors. It has like these New York street gangs right here. Look at these gangs. The Savage Nomads and the Savage Skulls. It's like, uh, it's like a documentary of the uh, late 70s New York street gangs. Almost like the Warriors. This tape right here goes for like 30 bucks or more online. Got for 50 cents. Can't go wrong. 
Um, so I'm definitely glad I get, got that. It's just a blind buy, but it looked pretty cool from the trailer. So these are all the things I got so far, and off to the next place is... I'm going to this uh, random video shop place right here called Super Video Entrance. It's kind of this, like a you know, crappy looking building right here. So I'm like, oh geez. So I'm going to go in here and uh, check it out and see what's inside. Who knows? Oh man. Broken windows in the video store. Hmm, interesting. Look at that shit. Yeah, there's a... Uh, this task right here that just came out, so I might get that. Who's inside? Oh, Blu-rays. Yeah, there we go inside. And it's kind of big, and I got like a lot of stuff in here. Like it's kind of all mixed in. You get the, the nice sun-drenched titles right here. Kind of like it's full, like you know, totally sun-beat. We got like rows and rows of like the steel racks. I don't know what the hell. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting place, but it's all like mixed in, so you gotta kind of like look around and hunt around. There's like no category, so it's kind of a pain in the ass to find stuff. So it's like shit. Okay, I'll crack that one up. There's this. This one's just totally falling apart. Look at that. It's a mess. This one's just. Looks like it's all melted on there. It's like kind of cruddy looking t uh, DVDs, like the way these cases look. Oh shit. Oh man. So I'm gonna look around here, maybe find something cool, but I don't know. And make sure you do not go in the adult section if you're under 18, because they will call the cops on your ass. So do not do that. Do not take any of the boxes. They'll call the cops on you. Do not do that if you're in this place. Alright, I just left this video place. Super fast video, I think it's called, or something like that, whatever it is. Okay, there wasn't much in there, it was kind of all like kind of crap. It was all mixed in there, so I really couldn't find it. But I did ask that Freeway too. They don't have it. I always have to ask these um, pop shops for like little weird movies. Okay, they might have them for sale. But check out this cool place. Look at this behind me. The Tower Bar. That's kind of a really cool look to it. You can, you can drink beer because it's a bar. You know, of course. But next door, if you're drunk enough, you get a tattoo. So a tattoo parlor and a beer and a, and a bar and all in one. How cool is that? So I get a fucked up tattoo because I'm drunk. What's wrong with that? So I'm off to the next spot. All right, I'm over at the mall right now. I'm at La Mesa, to be exact, Rosemont Center. It's kind of a cold day right now, a little wet in the ground, and uh, behind me, of course, because the fountain. I'm gonna hit up this place, Panera Bread over there, because my buddy Sean gave me a gift card for Christmas, so I'm gonna go check it out. I've never been before in my life, so I'm gonna go in there, see what kind of grub they got, maybe get some sandwiches, soup, I'm not sure what they got. So hopefully I can record there, so I can let you guys uh, see what I have, and let's go check it out. All right, I got my food, I got the Italian combo. I got the chips and stuff, I got the Italian sandwich. Got myself an iced tea, so no, it looks pretty good. And that's you guys know what I think. Like, part of my sandwich right here. The thing I should have got, since it's damn cold out, I should have got a freaking um, soup with it. I, I, I should have got the dang soup bowl, like the sourdough soup bowl. I totally forgot about doing that, like a fool, but I'll definitely get that next time. And so far, this Italian sandwich is pretty good. I mean, kettle chips right there, get my little pickle action, but yeah. So far, so good. I just left Panera Bread. It was pretty good. I liked it out of the Italian sandwich. It was pretty tasty. And damn, it's, it's cold outside. It'll get all cloudy and kind of gray out. It's kind of, kind of gross, but it, it's okay. It's kind of, that's that winter weather. Anyway, I'm just going to go walk around. I think there's a Walmart here, so I'm going to go inside there and uh, see what I'm they got. here right now. It's, just, it's like an outdoor mall, but um, it's all cloudy out, you know, rainy. It's pretty damn chilly out. It's got Christmas stuff up, you know. Yeah, it's kind of cool, though. I always, always, always like going to this mall. I used to go here a lot when I was a kid. Pretty cool little place. My stores are kind of like eh, but uh, it's okay. Here we go, Walmart. Got the two-story Walmart. So we're on this escalator. And that's all the movies are up over here. Here we go, Walmart. You know the little movie section. This movie's really this one came out. Also, was uh, Equalizer. That's a good movie. I saw that with Sean and his uh, brother, like when it came out like a couple months ago. Good movie. I enjoyed it. Pretty violent. Pretty cool stuff. There's a Tusk right there, only $12.96. I might get that, but I want to get on Blu-ray, but I don't even see the Blu-ray of the Tusk. All I see is just the DVD, so maybe I'll just get that, or if not, I'll, I'll run it out or something. I saw this one the other day, it was a gift from Sean. It was a good movie, I liked Maze Runner, it was pretty cool. Um, I liked it, it had a good vibe, like um, Lord of the Flies meets the Cube vibe to it, but a uh, good movie, pretty good right there, check out. Not bad, actually, better than I thought it would be. Hmm. Just looking around here, nothing else, there's nothing too crazy it looks like trying to find some of those weird uh, titles Here, this one was good Chris saw this other night Dead Snow 2 so it was really gory and pretty uh, pretty damn awesome so he said it was better than the first one so I'm gonna have to get that one too it comes in that cool little, little slipcase antidote 
cure is the curse. I don't know what the hell this is about. Like a, I guess like a zombie movie it looks like, I assume. I don't know, it's probably really bad, but it might be okay. And they're like entertaining. I don't know if it's worth the 12 bucks. Probably worth like two bucks, but uh, that'd be a fun little watch or a rental. Look at these things, the King's, King's Day Rolls, King's Day Ring. I have no idea what this is. Be some sort of special cake, you know. It's sort of fruit cake kind of ring thing. Interesting. They have a bunch of them. There they are. All right, I just left Walmart and I didn't get a copy of Tusk because I didn't have any copies of it on Blu ray. This had on DV and I figured, eh, for a few bucks more, I might as well get it on Blu ray, you know? But I did run it out of uh, Redbox. I had it over there on Blu ray. So I rented it out for, you know, a buck something. So I figured, what the hell, I might as well get it, check it out, watch it tonight. If I like it, then I'll definitely buy it. So um, some of those movies, I'm not really sure how it is. So hopefully I like it. I heard good things about it. So I'm sure it'll be good. But anyway, uh, let's go walk around some more. All right, that's it for my video right there. I don't want to, you know, it's, it's getting all rainy outside now. getting all you know, messy and cold. Look at, check out my car. Look at this thing. Just, just covered in rain right there. You know, check that out. You know, yeah. That's why I do my closed out part of the video in a parking garage because it's all rainy outside, a big mess. So uh, screw that. It'll be all sickly. It'll be, it'll be full of rain everywhere. It'll be, it'll be an ugly sight. But anyway, um, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment below. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm always on there showing off uh, pictures and things like that of things I get and stuff I do. Anyway, you um, guys have a safe and happy new year. Party it up big, but be safe. You know, and uh, thanks to the awesome la the 2014 year I had, a really cool year, fun times doing this YouTube thing. Thanks for all you guys for your support. Awesome. I can't wait till 2015, a couple of days. It's going to be better. So I cannot wait to see what's going to happen and what kind of stuff's going to be in store, what kind of projects will happen, what kinds of cool things like that. Should be exciting. Let's have a safe, awesome time. I'll catch you guys later. I'll see you guys next year.